Microsoft reels after its AI researchers accidentally upload 38 terabytes of private data to GitHub. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. We start with a story that shows just how difficult data security really can be in this new world. Yesterday, news broke that Microsoft AI researchers had accidentally exposed 38 terabytes of internal sensitive data, ranging from passwords to private keys to even backups of personal computers, when they accidentally uploaded it to a GitHub repository along with open source code. Now, the discovery was made by online security startup Wiz. So what actually happened? It sounds like a GitHub repository that Microsoft had uploaded open source code and AI models for image recognition to was configured incorrectly. Basically, to get the repository, they were given an Azure storage URL. However, as TechCrunch put it, Wiz found that the URL was configured to grant permissions on the entire storage account, exposing additional private data by mistake. And it wasn't just a little bit of data. In fact, it was 38 terabytes of data. In addition to the passwords, personal computer backups, and private keys that were mentioned before, it also included more than 30,000 internal Microsoft Teams messages spread across hundreds of different Microsoft employees. Basically, this was a small misconfiguration, which allowed for full control rather than read-only permissions, and apparently had exposed this data going back all the way to 2020. While the story just broke yesterday, Wiz said that it actually shared its findings first with Microsoft all the way back on June 22nd, and within two days, Microsoft had removed the overly permissive shared access signature or SAS token in the URL. Now, according to a postmortem blog post by Microsoft, their security response center said that, quote, no customer data was exposed and no other internal services were put at risk because of this issue. What's more, Microsoft said that because of all of this, it expanded what's called GitHub's secret spanning service, which is a tool for monitoring public open source code uploaded to GitHub that might have accidentally exposed credentials or other secrets with this type of overly permissive token. So as Wiz put it on Twitter, AI's potential is limitless, but data security is paramount. The incident serves as a reminder, as AI evolves, developers and researchers who rely on data sharing must prioritize securing sensitive information. Next up today, just a little conversation between the Israeli Prime Minister, OpenAI President and Co-Founder Greg Brockman, AI Safety Expert and Professor Max Tegmark, and of course the owner of X, Elon Musk himself. Now, while the event was nominally billed as an AI roundtable, it very quickly became a conversation about anti-Semitism and censorship, which makes sense given the battles that Elon Musk has recently been fighting with the American organization, the Anti-Defamation League. Indeed, the conversation was so not focused on artificial intelligence ultimately that basically no follow-up headline even made note of what they said. One thing that is making headlines is SoftBank's growing plans to get deeper into the artificial intelligence space. SoftBank is seen by many as one of the big progenitors of the boom, or depending on who you ask, the bubble in tech startups over the last decade. The company has been up and down, but in the wake of the ARM IPO, the most successful IPO in the last two years, it appears that SoftBank is eager to deploy tens of billions of dollars into the artificial intelligence space. The Financial Times reports that one of the targets that they have in mind is in fact ChatGPT creator OpenAI. According to FT sources, not only is SoftBank interested in an investment in OpenAI, but they're also potentially exploring a broader strategic partnership as well. That said, the same sources say that SoftBank is diligencing a significant number of substantial AI investments, including those in direct rivals of OpenAI. The sources said that they had also made a preliminary approach to buy a UK-based AI chipmaker called GraphCore. According to the FT, Masayoshi Sun, who said in June he was a heavy user of ChatGPT, has developed a close relationship with OpenAI's chief executive, Sam Altman. Sun has described Altman as, quote, one of the key people on Earth and said he speaks to him almost every day. Now, some viewed this report as a sign that if Goldman Sachs is right and we're not yet in an AI bubble, that, well, with SoftBank's help, a bubble might be coming right around the corner. Bubble or not, AI startups continue to command significant financing rounds with the latest nine-figure venture investment going to Writer. Writer has raised a $100 million Series B, although the company is not yet in that unicorn billion dollar valuation class. Writer CEO May Habib wrote, Dominant design is emerging for enterprise grade generative AI internal applications. It's an LLM closely coupled with knowledge graphs and AI guardrails, supporting multiple generative AI use cases. Turns out it's all the stuff after setting up an LLM that's the most work, and Writer solves those problems in a single integrated platform. High accuracy plus fast time to value plus ultimate security is what enterprises are looking for. In an email to TechCrunch, Habib also said, Many enterprises are still just scratching the surface on generative AI, mostly building internal company XGPT-type applications. 
The harder, more impactful use cases require a lot more know-how on retrieval augmented generation, data gathering, and cleaning and workflow construction, and they're realizing that that's 90% of the work. That's the part that Writer makes much easier. Now, in addition to just being a sign of A, how much venture capitalists still see open space for enterprise AI companies, and B, Writer's reflections on what the enterprise AI market is actually looking for and evolving towards, one other little detail I noticed from the TechCrunch reporting was that they wrote that Writer, quote, claims to have trained its fine-tunable models on business writing that isn't copyrighted, a key point at a time when the copyright status of AI-generated works in the U.S. remains somewhat nebulous. Lastly today, we are about due for a full show on the implications and the integration of generative AI into the financial space. And on that note, Morgan Stanley has just announced the launch of what they call their AI at Morgan Stanley Assistant, a tool for financial advisors which gives them access to a database of more than 100,000 research reports and documents. Now, this AI-powered assistant for financial advisors was built on top of software from OpenAI, but also trained on this proprietary database of more than 100,000 documents. According to the firm, quote, it's just the first in a series of solutions based on generative AI planned by the bank. The firm is piloting a tool called Debrief that automatically summarizes the content of client meetings and generates follow-up emails. You know, at some point soon, we're going to have to create an AI breakdown bingo card where on any given week, we can go through the news and see how many of the most common threads get hit. New rumor from Google or OpenAI over here, new industry that implements a custom-built LLM over there, and of course, enterprise AI software financing rounds everywhere. But for now, that is going to do it for today's episode of the AI Breakdown Brief. Next up is the main AI breakdown.